Welcome to So Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. I'm filming on location today at the Adult National Figure Skating Championships in Salt Lake City. I have Kylie with me. She is actually the first person that I've interviewed at this event, so I'm super excited about it. Kylie has been skating for about 12 years now and was inspired by Michelle Kwan long ago. Even though in my mind that was like four years ago. <laughs> so Kylie, how did you decide on your dress color and the dress style? Was that based on your music, your figure? What, what inspired you to choose this? Well, I'm skating to the soundtrack from La La Land, so I wanted something that was easily recognizable um, with the music. So Emma Stone on the cover or on in the movie wears a dress that has a similar kind of off the shoulder style so I wanted something that really spoke to the music as well in the movie. Okay. So, yeah. and, and that makes sense. And did you make this dress? I did not. Okay. And do you care to divulge the dressmaker's name? Brad Griffey's. Brad Griffey's. Okay. Oh, I've seen him on Pinterest. Yeah, but awesome. I've, I've stoned it myself. You stoned it yourself. Yeah. Okay. See, now, so speaking of, I assume that you stoned it yourself to save money. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you, do you enjoy stoning? I do. Yeah. <laughs> It gets a little stressful at times because you don't know what to start with, but uh -huh. once you get going, it kind of takes the form of its own. It so, does. Yeah. All right, so just like always, I am going to go through this and show you what I really like on Kylie's body shape and what things, what things you may or may not want to use on your inspiration dress. So Kylie, as you can tell, is really very petite this and just like many skaters she's also lean and pretty straight which happens when we're lean we don't tend to have a lot of curves right so the nice thing about this curvy sweetheart neckline is that it gives her a real feminine bust line even though she's small busted so between the two of us yes so the curves really help that so for small busted women having a naturally curvy neckline is a really awesome feminine feature um, because she's got nice trim arms, the tiny little cap sleeve works well on her. This skirt attachment is actually a really good location. I'm going to have you turn sideways, please, ma'am. So for those of you with fuller tummies, Kylie has a really flat tummy. I'll have you do zombie arms there. Awesome. So right now, her skirt attachment fits sits at the perfect place because if she had a tummy, it would not show. The skirt, the fullness of the skirt would hang straight off of it. So for those of you who have been following me for a while, you know I talk a lot about de-emphasizing full bellies, and this would certainly do the trick. The, um, it looks like they're about the same in the front and the back. Generally, if I were making the dress from scratch, I would like the back a little bit lower because I think it gives a slightly longer line. But because Kylie is, has a flat tummy, on her it's not a big deal. But on curvier women, having a lower back here is good because then it sort of helps the skirt emphasize the tush, which is okay, but maybe not so much the tummy because most of us want to hide it. And go ahead and keep going. Now this is really pretty interesting. Did you have this custom made for you? I did not. She did not have it custom made, so it was bought basically off the rack, okay? So this is a lycra, actually it's not, it's a double layer of mesh. This is also a double layer mesh, I'm gonna peek. Mm -hmm. This is exploring as we go. And so we've got at least a double layer mesh here and then a single layer mesh to create this up and over the look. I think that's kind of a nice detail. You could always not do it, it's not something that's required. The keyhole opening back here makes it easy for her to get in and out of. She doesn't have, need a zipper on this. If you do not wish to show this much skin, it could always be a smaller opening, of course. All right, go ahead and turn back to... Now, I'm going to ask you again. So what is your, what's your favorite thing about this dress? I think I love the color. It's just bright and happy, okay. and I want what I'm wearing to exude that, so okay. yeah. All right. What is your least favorite thing about the dress? Um, maybe the cap sleeves, probably. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of self-conscious about my arms sometimes, so I don't, 
I don't know. Yeah. Right. So if you had to change that, would you go for, what's your favorite length? Would you go for here, like elbow or all the way down to the wrist? I would actually probably go sleeveless. Okay. I feel more comfortable in sleeveless dresses. So, okay. Yes. Yeah, my first time doing a dress with this cut. Oh. So do you know how to do any sewing? I do not. All right. I was going to, um, all right. So let's, let me, so long as we still have silence behind us, let's go ahead. I'm going to keep talking. And I'm gonna offer Kylie some, op some options for turning this into a sleeveless. So for those of you who know how to sew, see the catch is here. I'm gonna have her turn sideways again here. This little bit of single layer mesh right here complicates turning this into a sleeveless. The easiest thing to do would probably be to just come in literally and just cut an armhole out so that it would this would basically be where the yellow ended and then it would just scoop right up and then all of the cap sleeve look would be gone. It would be easier and cleaner looking. It would have a better design if we did not have the single layer mesh. Let me check again here. Yeah, we can't. I was hoping that this was just the yeah, single layer of mesh was just applique on top of this and then you could just pop the stitching and it would come off and then it would look capless or look sleeveless but no go on that, so it's complicated surgery. Not terrible, but if you don't know how to sew, it's complicated. Um, all right, so I think this is an adorable dress. I watched you skate earlier and took some photos. Hopefully they turned out well enough that I can insert them in the video as we're going. And um, yeah, I think we're good. Do you have anything that you would like to share about your dress? Does it, does Not it, really. Does it stay over your tush pretty well? It does, yeah, it's very comfortable. Okay. All right, well, good deal then. I'm gonna let Kylie go and get back to whatever it is her activities are. The rest, you've got one more routine. Saturday. Saturday, mm -hmm. okay. Now all it's right. time for some food. Okay, food, food is good. <laughs> all right, so thank you all for joining me for this. If you have found value in today's video, please share it with all of your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address. I'll make sure you get my newsletters and know when the sewing school is open for enrollment. Leave a comment. What's your favorite item about? What's your favorite design element about Kylie's dress? And I think that's it. I'll talk to you again another time. Cool. Thank you. Awesome. It's kind of Good fun. Long time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sometimes I put bloopers on at yeah. the front of the video. Like, uh. Oh yeah. Sometimes I'll put them at the end.